Hello, I'm Antonio11 and this is my video on how to short sheet a bed. Now, short sheeting a bed is a very easy prank because it, you don't need any materials for it except your own hands and obviously enough energy to lift them. So, it also is very uh, easy to put on people in places because, I mean, pretty much everybody has to sleep in a bed. If you're on a camping trip, just consider putting a rubber snake in a sleeping bag or something. But, I mean, if you have a bed, just do this. So, um... It's a fairly easy prank, and uh, you'll see that pretty soon. If you're trying to do this, you might want to allow for about 10 minutes or so. If it's your first try, then uh, figure it out. Also, uh, you might want to add a few based on how much stuff is on the bed. You see this bed, it's pretty clear. I cleared it off. There's no more junk on it like there usually is. But, um, all right, so I'll get started for you. All right, so what you want to do first is you want to, like, take off the comforter like this. And now you're down to the sheet. Now what you want to do with the sheet is take it off, but you're not going to completely remove it from the bed. Well, you are going to remove it from the bed, but you're not going to take it off there. So what you do with the sheet, uh, you might want to remove the pillow to make this easier, is put it up here. You tuck it in at the top of the bed, like this. and then tuck it in under the mattress. But only at the top, remember that. Then you're also going to want to do that right here. But only at the top. So now you have this, you're able to pull the sheet up just like this. So if somebody gets into the bed, it's going to look like it's a normal bed. So don't, remember, don't pull it up too far. Loop so it's like a normal sheet. So they'll just casually get into bed, then they'll try to get in and their sheet will be like this. It can be very annoying at bedtime. So I do not recommend doing this to your mother or wife. But once you have this done, so you want to make sure that it's as neat as possible. Make sure there aren't any creases or anything or folds like right here. Guys, you want to make this look as deceptive as you can. You want to make this look normal, pretty much. So, even at the beginning, if you've done this, you want to make sure that you memorize what the bed looks like, where the pillow is, how many pillows are on it, stuff like that, so that they won't suspect a thing. And um, you might want to try to distract them if you're going to be in there when they're getting into the bed, so they don't really notice. So once you have it like this, you might want to tuck the sheet in a bit here. If you put it too far to one side, you can just tuck it into the side of the bed or something, it's not going to matter that much. Then, you need to put the comforter back on. So, figure out which way it goes. If it's square, you're okay. If it's a rectangle, uh, it's this way. And you attach it like, pretty much to your bed the way it was earlier. You want to center it. Because, again, you want to make this look as casual as possible. Like, just a normal bed and you tuck it in everywhere, including the top of the bed. And you want to make sure to pull it down pretty much all the way. If the bed's too far this way, I'll pull out the bed if it's against the wall. That can be very annoying. And pull comforter as far down as you can, pretty much. And then, since this is right here, you're going to have to pull this down a bit more. And try to make this look very nice and kind of elegant. And then, shove the bed into the wall. Hopefully there wasn't anything important at all. And creeps right here. And then just lay it right here. You also want to put the pillow in. And now... Here is the bed. It doesn't look like anything's really been done to it. Obviously, this looks the way it did earlier. So that's how it's short. She's the bed. If you forget anything, you can replay this video. Uh, if you have any other questions, if somebody didn't cover this video, just uh, send me a message. I'm Antonio11, or post a comment on this video, 
and I will try to get back to you. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks. Have fun pranking.